Good morning, good morning, once again. <laughs> um, so, as I think about the chance that I had to meet with a young man that I had infected with HIV, most likely, um, we talked about him and his girlfriend and, and his baby that was born um, shortly after he became infected. And I think about that moment and I think about how he told me that the joy that his son wasn't infected, but how he broke the news to me that his girlfriend, the baby's mother, was infected and that had and that she couldn't handle that diagnosis and she had ended up just going MIA on drugs and I wonder how many ladies out there really know what your man is doing, what your boyfriend or your husband or your fiance, because let me just explain this to you, and I don't say anything to boast or brag, but the majority of the men that I dealt with when I was the old person, when I was Paige, let me tell you, the majority of those men, they were men that hated homosexuals, would hit a homosexual in a minute for looking at them and their girlfriends or wives or fiancés would say not my man would never do that so let me just say this and, and many of them met me on the street thought that I was a woman and then I told them that I was a man but I had already entice them or, 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 or um, entice them is the better word um, so they went ahead and tried it um, so let me just say that I was purposely and intentionally trying to infect these men and so even the ones that wanted to use protection I already had that taken care of because I would either remove it or I already had some that was tampered with. Okay, so there is a way around everything and if somebody is truly trying to do somebody harm, it can be done. So what I need people to understand, especially women, is that there are a lot of men out here that physically are more appealing than the average woman to men. And, and, and be it the way they dress, the way they uh, present themselves, the way they, they, they carry themselves, whatever. So, because sin is very attractive. Sin is very alluring and seducing and, and, and enticing. So, my message is for all of these women and, and these girls out here who are giving their bodies away, just giving yourselves away without any promise of a future. And like many women, their futures, their, any hope that they had of a future is being doused out by an HIV positive diagnosis. And then they wonder how they got it. And it's because their boyfriend, husband, fiance was having um, relations with homosexuals or, or transgenders or other males. And, and, and so it's all homosexuals. And, and I only make that distinction because um, I had somebody tell me the other day that he gets off with his homeboy but he's not gay and he's not bi and because bisexuality doesn't exist anyway but he's not gay and he's and, and so but he just gets off with his homeboy because sometimes his wife doesn't satisfy him and sometimes his homeboy's girlfriend doesn't satisfy him so they just kind of do something together and i think he called it bromance bromance which was disturbing enough um so my message is for the women, the young women, the older women, all women, 
if you are not in a committed relationship that you are that you know the foundation is God and God is the only foundation then there's no way possible you can be sure that your man is not out there messing around with homosexuals whether they be transgender or or their homeboy or whatever they're all homosexual. So if you can't, if you, if your relationship and, and is not based on the foundation of, of God, and God doesn't come first in your life, then let me just suggest that it, it's it could be very detrimental to your health, to your life. You know, um, like I said. When I got to meet with the young man that I infected with HIV, most likely infected with HIV, he told me how his girlfriend, his baby's mother, was infected. She couldn't handle that diagnosis. She took off, she got on drugs, and now she's MIA. So, this is real. This is very real. The men that are in and out of jail and in and out of prison, let me tell you this, ladies. They are messing around. Okay? The men that are out there on drugs, they either are or will mess around. The men that are that are alcoholics, they either are or they will mess around. And and, and you don't have to have an addiction to mess around or or or, or, or in, engage in that type of city. Okay? Um, not not like um, drugs or alcohol or sexual addiction because there are a lot of men that I met on the street that thought I was a woman when they first met me and then I told them that I was a man after I had enticed them and they decided they would give it a try anyway okay and these were men that I would sit with on my bed in my bedroom I would be I would perform acts on these men while they called their wife or their girlfriend and told them how they would be late. I thought it was, I thought I was special. I thought I was amazing that I was the other woman. As sick as that may sound, I, I, I felt prideful and arrogant that I was the other woman. And so I have to say that I was purposely and intentionally trying to infect these men. And I know that there are a lot of other people out there like that as well. Um, and, and I know this because I, I, I've seen it and I've heard it. And so I know this as a fact. So I just say that ladies, please don't throw your bodies in the trash. Don't give yourself away. You are worth so much more than that. God truly does love you. And if you don't love him first, you could never love yourself. And so if you don't have God in your life, you cannot sit there and tell me how you love yourself. Because you can't love yourself. It is impossible for you to love yourself if you do not love God. And if you do not know God. So let me suggest that you know God. That you seek God. Because if you seek him. I guarantee that you will find him. So you seek God. You seek his face. And you find out what the love of God truly is. And find out what love truly means. Because you can only do to come to know the Father. So you do this. And let me suggest to you that you won't want to give your body away to just anybody. You won't want to build a relationship that's not founded. You won't want to give away your body. You won't want to build a relationship. Sorry for that interruption. There, I lost my signal for a moment. Um, but you won't want to do all these things without God. Without that foundation. Without something to build that relationship and life on. You won't want to. There, there won't be. You won't have a desire. You won't want to give your body away to just anybody. Because these guys out here, 
just because they don't walk around with their wrist bent and walk around twitching doesn't mean that they're not engaging in homosexual activity. It doesn't mean that they're not infected with HIV. You have all these young men and young women that are in rehabs. And, and, and so mostly the young men because men have, have this ego thing, a pride, more of a prideful thing. So you have all these young men who are going into these um, rehab programs and, and they're seeking freedom and truth. But they're not dealing with their deep, dark secrets. They don't want to deal with them. So they figure if they just don't talk about it, it'll go away. And so let me suggest this to those young men. That you have to not worry about what your homeboys are going to think. You have to stand up and fess up and tell them straight up. Look, I did this. This is my deep, dark secret. I need to deal with this. So I have to speak about it. And so I just have to say that that because you women are giving yourselves away for, for nothing, you're putting your life in jeopardy. And so, and, and being that you, you, you're engaging in sexual activity in order to become HIV positive, you're also ultimately putting another life in jeopardy if you happen to get pregnant. Um, so, I, I really, I, I, I just want you all to, to know that if you don't have God in your life right now, and you're in a relationship, that you need to stop engaging in sexual activity, and you need to seek God. And you need to allow God to, to create a foundation for your relationship. Because if, if, that, if that man or that boy that's in your life truly loves you, he will wait for you. He will wait until you're married. Now, again, he has to seek God too. Because you can't get into something unequally yoked. It's, it's just not healthy. And it's, it, there's... I just want women to know that what these men are doing. Men are out there, and they are they are going to they are um, paying transgenders, and, and some aren't paying because some they're doing it for free. I was doing it for a profit or free; it didn't matter to me. I was addicted to sex, and so they are out there, and they are going between work and home, or, or hanging out with the homies and going home. They're stopping and they're getting off. And they're engaging in sexual activity with men. Okay, it don't matter if the man looks like a woman, dresses like a woman, wants to be a woman, thinks he's a woman, or pays to be a woman. He's still a man. And so he's still gauge, engaging in homosexual activity. So I just have to say that um, I, ho I hope that, um, that young women and, and, and ladies and, and all women would listen to this message and know that um, HIV and AIDS is very real. And there's a lot of young women out there. I met a 17-year-old girl who had sex once, no, twice in her life. And she was HIV positive. I met another young girl that had sex once in her life. And I forget how old she was, but she was HIV positive. And so let me just say, these men don't have to be out here twitching and have a bent wrist or talking about, hey, Miss Thing. To be engaging in homosexual activity because nowadays sex is just sex it doesn't mean anything to people and so if they're getting off with men or women it's just sex to them it doesn't mean that they're gay it doesn't mean that they're straight it doesn't mean anything because it's just sex and, and it's a sad way to be it's a sad state that we're in but that's the way it is so Love God, love yourself, and then you'll be able to love others. So I just thank you all. Y'all have a blessed day. I'm getting ready to go in the gym and get her done. Peace.